Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This weekend, we are exploring Montana in the winter, specifically Southeast Montana. From the rolling plains of Billings to the towering cliffs of Makoshika State Park, Southeast Montana offers a variety of terrain to be explored. With fewer crowds, a ton of accessible public land, and a slower pace of life, you'll have the opportunity to truly connect with nature and experience the magic of the Montana wilderness. If you are new to the channel, I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And we run a travel and adventure vlog called Made to Explore. We are passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. We've got a ton of adventure, travel, and van life content. So if you are into that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you around for our next videos. We just arrived in Miles City and we are starving. So we are gonna go grab a burger. One of the most popular things to do in Southeast Montana is to hit up the Southeast Montana Burger Trail. There are over 20 restaurants that have feature burgers. They all look really good. We're having a hard time choosing which yeah. one to eat at, but they've got some kind of cool things with this. So if you download the Southeast Montana Burger Trail Passport online, there are prizes for if you go to four, eight or more of these burger restaurants. So you definitely wanna check that out. We will put the link in the description below. Okay, so we just had a really good lunch at Tootworks Brew House and Stuffed. Casino. Yeah, really, <laughs> so really good. full. It was good. And now we are going to check out the Waterworks Art museum so we are currently exploring the museum we're the only ones here and it's really cool because there's artists from all over the country that have pieces here and one of the really unique things about this is this was actually an old holding tank where the water was held that fed miles city so pretty insane building that they transitioned into an art museum it's a pretty cool place it's a five dollar donation and um, they hold events here too we just arrived at Strawberry Hill Recreation Site. It's a short drive out of Miles City, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And it's a really beautiful piece of BLM land where we are gonna do a little cross country skiing yeah. and hiking because there's actually a surprising amount of snow here today. So <laughs> we're gonna do a little exploring around the area. Geared up. Geared up. <laughs> Hit the trail. Bailey is pop. Just starting off with a little hill here. Here, I'll, I'll feel it. I'll feel, feel it, it out. out. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh, I forgot about the tracks. I totally forgot the cattle, about the cattle grade at the bottom of the hill there. That was super dicey. <laughs> So we're gonna do the ski just along, there's a road that kind of goes through this area. We're just gonna ski along the road. And then for sunset tonight, we're gonna do the Strawberry Hill Loop Hike, which goes up to a nice viewing uh, spot right on top of that hill. So it should be pretty nice to enjoy sunset up there. Mm -hmm. But Kaylee is just about to tackle this next hill and I'm gonna videotape it because it could be worthy. Look at Bailey go. <laughs> Nailed it. It's not that bad. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Alright. Take two. Take two. Ooh. Oh, this is way better. Oh yeah. Very nice. We just got back from our ski and it was really nice actually, but we were freaking freezing. Yeah, it's cold. So we bundled <laughs> up, threw some extra layers on, and we are headed up to the top of Strawberry Hill to watch the sunset. That's right, we've got heated socks. We dropped Bailey off because, I mean, she looks young, but she's old and she was tired after our ski. <laughs> and David pushed out some guy that was stuck. <laughs> some guy in a Subaru got stuck on this hill. 
that I almost fell down earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this loop trail is 5.6 kilometers and 138 meters of elevation gain. So, not too bad of a hike. It's cool because you're kind of like in the middle of the prairie, it seems like, and then all of a sudden you come up here and it's like, yeah. there's all of these really cool hills. Well, we're trying to race to the top, <laughs> which is why we're kind of out of breath. The race is on and the road has ended, so the real trail begins. Woo! Woo! Made it! <laughs> Just in time, like three minutes before the sun sets. Look at how incredible that is though. So stunning. Oh, I got a frozen stash. It's cold, <laughs> but I'm still sweating. Yeah, yeah this is so pretty. Right. Time to relax and enjoy. We finished the Strawberry Hill hike and we were so hungry after that we quickly made dinner. Yeah. <laughs> crushed the dinner and drove to Terry Badlands, which was only about a 40 minute drive from Mile City. Yeah, we are tired, it's late, we're gonna hit the hay mm -hmm. and we've got an exciting day planned tomorrow. So yeah. stay tuned. Something that's cool about this area in Montana is that there is a ton of BLM land where you can actually wild camp. Obviously, it's really important to be respectful and uh, leave no trace, but it's really nice for van lifers like us. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> we had some breakfast, finishing up some coffee. We are going to pull out the uh, e-bikes pretty soon here. Yep. We got a new basket so we can bring Bailey along, which We'll see how that goes. <laughs> and we are going to ride to a viewpoint that overlooks the Terry Badlands, which is about eight kilometers, not too far. You can also drive this road, but we've decided we have the electric fat bikes and might as well have some fun with it. So. Yeah, absolutely. It looks really nice out. It's cold this morning, but it's supposed to warm up this yeah. afternoon. So uh, bundle up and hit the road. All geared up, ready to go. Ready to go. Uh, the carrier for Bailey is turns out broken, so that's unfortunate. But we have a backpack for her, so we're gonna go for a little run first, hey babe? It's a little windy, but it's fun and it's beautiful. And the fat bike's working like a charm. I'm glad we didn't drive the van down here because probably would have been a little dicey. Well, <laughs> she did pretty good, but a couple ready kilometers in, yeah, ready for a break. <laughs> You get really beautiful views of the whole valley and these badlands behind us, which are just really unique, really special to, uh, to see. Yeah, there's actually a lot of areas where you can just kind of bike up to the side too and, and yeah. take a look. So there's lots of great viewpoints along the road. sure if you are in the Terry Badland area. Yeah, we're cold. So we're gonna maybe go back to the van and make some lunch. Yeah. Made some BLT wraps for lunch. <laughs> we are gonna crush this because we're starving. Yeah. And then we're gonna hit the road and we are off to Glendive. Yeah, where we are going to check out Makoshka State Park. Which I personally was the most excited about. So be sure to stay tuned for that. We just arrived in Makoshika State Park and we just pulled into Switchback Trail. We're gonna hike up for sunset. The sky's perfectly clear, so it should be pretty beautiful. Yeah, we stopped in at the visitor center. They've got a cool little museum there that we'd recommend checking out if you have the time. They also hooked us up with a campsite, so we're gonna be staying the night here. Well, we 
made it to the top for sunset <laughs> and uh, now we're on our way down and it's just epic. Like the sunsets down here are just crazy. Yeah, it's such they're, a pretty night too. Uh, yeah, they're so beautiful. We're thinking about doing a little star astrophotography tonight. So we'll see. It's probably gonna be a perfect night for it. And spot Kaylee's heated socks from a mile away. <laughs> Looks like an alien walking down the trail. One's blue and one's white. <laughs> bumping them. <laughs> Kaylee and I just woke up and made some coffee and opened up the back doors and we have quite the view. So we're going to hang out, relax and drink our coffees before getting into some cross country skiing, I think. We just did a little loop around the campground. There are multiple campgrounds here, by the way, but during the winter time, there's only one that's open and there's only a few sites plowed right now. Uh, there's no one else here. So we it's had really the campground nice, to yeah. ourselves. We just kind of like did a ski around, did some exploring. The views are beautiful as you can see probably behind us. Yeah, if you're looking for other places to cross country ski here, there's actually no groomed trails, but they do close a lot of the roads, which I feel people hike along the roads. Yeah. Um, but I feel like those would be perfect places to cross country ski if you wanted to kind of get up above and get some views. Definitely. Well, that wraps it up for Southeast Montana. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this video and found it useful, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you around. We hope you have a blast exploring Southeast Montana and we will see you next week. See you in the next one.